Hello students. So in this video, we are continuing our discussion about adsorption. In the earlier video, we discussed about what is adsorption, what are its characteristics, and what are various types of adsorption. That is resorption and chemisorption. Let us continue our discussion. In this video, we will be talking about thermodynamics of adsorption. So we all remember thermodynamics. So it was a concept where which tells us about feasibility of some process that is the spontaneity of a process. Now, how does thermodynamics tell us about the spontaneity of adsorption? That is our first topic for today. Now, extent of adsorption is how do we measure how much adsorption has happened already? So this is what we say extent of adsorption. We will discuss about it. Competitive adsorption is something. Yes, competition. We have always had competition karne ki. So that is something here happens in adsorption as well. And what are the various factors? Kaun -kaun se factors hai, jinko change karne se our extent of adsorption can change. So this is our discussion in this video. So number one, let us talk about thermodynamics of adsorption. So when we talk about thermodynamics of adsorption, so thermodynamics, if you remember better, thermodynamics is the branch of chemistry which tells us about feasibility of various processes. How does it tell us the feasibility of a process? By Gibbs free energy. There was a parameter delta G. If delta G is less than zero, that means the reaction is or the process is spontaneous. If delta G is greater than 0, that means the reaction is non-spontaneous and it will not occur. And if delta G equals 0, that means we have equilibrium. Even at delta G equal to 0, the process will not take place. Now, for adsorption to occur, we want delta G to be negative, that is less than 0. We remember the delta G is equal to delta H minus T delta S. Okay. Now, one by one, we can talk about all of them, especially entropy. So, what about entropy beta? In entropy, now what is entropy? So, entropy is measure of randomness. Okay. Measure of randomness. In adsorption, beta kya ho raha hai? Entropy bad rahi hai ya ghat rahi hai? How do we say? So before adsorption, there was a solid and there were some gas molecules above it. Okay, this was your before adsorption. But after adsorption kya hua beta? Those gas molecules are now stuck to the surface of the solid like this okay there are still some gas molecules but less than the initial number of gas molecules so what has happened so we remember that gases have higher entropy okay because they can move more randomly so when the quantity of gas decreases okay when the quantity of gas decreases that means now the entropy is also less. Also think like this. Now that gas molecule is stuck at one place. Okay. It is stuck. first It cannot move. Its entropy, its randomness is less now. So adsorption is a process in which delta S is negative. In which delta S is negative. So in adsorption entropy decreases okay even in any adsorption matter not only gas even remember the example of charcoal and ink when we add charcoal it adsorbs the solute particles that is the ink on its surface so pehle kya tha better the solute particles were free in the solution they were roaming around here and there but after adsorption they are now stuck at the surface of the charcoal so, what happened? Their entropy also 
whenever there is entropy whenever there is sorry adsorption the entropy of the system decreases okay here also entropy is less than zero so jab humne iska gibbs free energy relation karna hai तो क्या करेंगे बेटा डेल्टा जी इक्वल्स डेल्टा एच माइनस टी डेल्टा एस तो याद करो थर्मोडायनामिक्स का हमारा कंसेप्ट बेटा डेल्टा एस इज नेगेटिव सो मींस दिस एंटायर टर्म नेगेटिव नेगेटिव इज पॉजिटिव ओके माइनस टी डेल्टा सो टी इज ऑलवेज पॉजिटिव टी इज ऑलवेज पॉजिटिव इट कैन नॉट बी नेगेटिव तो क्या होगा बेटा टी इंटू डेल्टा एस विल बी नेगेटिव तो माइनस टी डेल्टा एस क्या हो जाएगा बेटा पॉजिटिव ठीक है तो अगर वी वांट दिस एंटायर टर्म टू बी नेगेटिव वी वांट व्हाट डेल्टा जी शुड बी नेगेटिव सो फॉर डेल्टा जी टू बी नेगेटिव डेल्टा एच मस्ट बी सफिशिएंटली नेगेटिव ओके फॉर डेल्टा जी टू बी नेगेटिव योर डेल्टा एच must be very largely negative otherwise your delta g will not come out to be negative theek hai to jo bhi t delta s term hai usse to zyada hi negative chahiye hame delta h so which is why adsorption jab bhi hoga okay is delta h negative means enthalpy is released so adsorption is exo thermic always okay adsorption is always exothermic agar adsorption ho raha hai then it is exothermic clear now one more point what about the enthalpy of adsorption on multiple layers to so, beta if i have a solid like this to so, is and there is a solute जो इसके ऊपर चिपकता है लाइक एंड नाउ व्हाट इज द एंथेल्पी ऑफ एडजॉर्बशन ऑफ मल्टीपल लेयर्स सो एंथेल्पी ऑफ एडजॉर्बशन फॉर सब्सिक्वेंट लेयर्स मींस वन लेयर आफ्टर द अनदर तो इफ आई हैव अ सॉलिड एंड एडजॉर्बेंट okay an adsorbent like this and iske upar beta we have one adsorbate stuck on the surface to first layer jo bhi beta yahan pe enthalpy of adsorption hoga this will be most negative compared to the second layer theek hai it will be less negative then third layer it will be even less negative why is it so because when in subsequent adsorption so subsequent adsorption jab bhi hota hai beta kya hoga the adsorbate and adsorbent are farther from each other kya ho? their distance will increase and if their distance will increase if they become far from each other their interactions will become weaker so jaise jaise next to next next to next layer banega the adsorption will become weaker okay so they will reach a point where adsorption that uh, enthalpy is just equal to t delta s it is not so negative it is not so negative it is just in magnitude equal to t delta s to so, wahan pe kya ho jayega beta डेल्टा जी विल बिकम इक्वल टू जीरो एंड फर्दर एडजॉर्शन विल नॉट टेक प्लेस ठीक है तो मतलब इफ यू थिंक कि एक लेयर के ऊपर एक लेयर फिजिक्स ऑप्शन हो सकता है सो दैट इज ऑल्सो नॉट पॉसिबल बिकॉज एवरी सब्सिक्वेंट लेयर हैज अ लेस एंथेल्पी ऑफ एडजॉर्शन मतलब अगर पहली लेयर पे वी वर गेटिंग माइनस हंड्रेड सेकेंड लेयर पे वी विल गेट माइनस एटी नेक्स्ट लेयर पे वी विल गेट माइनस फिफ्टी एंड सो ऑन तो नेगेटिव वैल्यू will it will become less negative theek hai so this is about subsequent adsorption to ye layer 1 layer 2 is tarah se to layer 1 layer 2 layer 3 the maximum magnitude of enthalpy of adsorption kaha hoga first layer that will be the most negative enthalpy of adsorption 
clear so with every subsequent layer of adsorption your enthalpy of adsorption decreases okay like this so you can say heat of adsorption decreases as adsorption proceeds okay hence every subsequent layer has lower heat of adsorption a point is reached where delta g becomes equal to 0 and no further adsorption can take place okay next today's topic we'll talk about competitive adsorption so what is competitive adsorption so beta what is competition competition mein kya hota hai that person a person b person c person d person x y z they are competing against each other for some particular award or medal or trophy like you are all competing for your iit and medical seats so similar way there is something called as competitive adsorption there is a piece of your adsorbent jiske upar all of them want to get adsorbed okay a also wants b also wants c also wants to get adsorbed but the one who will be strongly attracted okay the one who will be strongly attracted by the adsorbent that guy that person between a b and c will get first or more adsorbed okay so that is what competitive adsorption is okay so if we talk about competitive adsorption so competitive adsorption is basically that if an adsorbent is in contact with two or more adsorbate like here okay so if an if an adsorbent is in contact with two or more adsorbate then the adsorbate which is more strongly adsorbed gets deposited first in preference to others okay then the adsorbate which is more strongly adsorbed gets adsorbed on a surface okay before others so this is what competitive adsorption is and this particular competitive adsorption is very useful in various applications so better what all happens if you know that charcoal is used in gas masks okay so where is the application of gas mask used in play mines industries or some other places where some poisonous gas is there so when charcoal is used as a gas mask so let us say a miner okay that person uses the mask and goes into a mine so mine may he may get or oh, some uh, poisonous gases like so2 no2 okay in mine he will get poisonous gases like no2 so2 okay so these gases are harmful for the person miner but these gases are also present in very less quantity compared to the surrounding so surrounding me it also has nitrogen and oxygen so kya hoga beta if we have a mask so mask may we have a charcoal here okay charcoal is acting like the adsorbent all these gases they will try to uh, get adsorbed on the charcoal so when they all want to get adsorbed on the charcoal so nitrogen also wants oxygen also wants no2 so2 they all want to get adsorbed fastly so in that case what will happen the gases which are what you say more preferred they will get adsorbed first so yahan pe ek aur baat aati hai isme preferential adsorption so agar kabhi koi gas hai beta like uh, which is more strongly adsorbed it will displace another gas so agar beta charcoal pe let us say galti se oxygen aur nitrogen ka molecule lag bhi jata so kya hoga because they have low liquefaction tendency to so oxygen nitrogen will study in just a moment 
कि इनका जो टेंडेंसी टू गेट एड्सॉर्ब है वो बहुत लो है तो दे विल बी इजिली रिप्लेस्ड बाय एनओ टू एनओ टू आएगा इस ऑक्सीजन को हटा देगा साइड से एंड गेट एड्सॉर्ब इट सेल्फ सो दैट इज वट इज प्रेफरेंशियल एड्सॉर्प्शन ओके दैट इज वट प्रेफरेंशियल एड्सॉर्प्शन so a gas which is present even in small quantities trace quantities will displace another gas from the surface just because that gas which is no2 is strongly adsorbed by the surface so this property is very useful in ga gas masks so because gas mask mein kya beta no2 so2 these gases we want to remove from the air which the guy is breathing so if no2 and so2 are trapped on the charcoal that is safe that is what we want so this property is called competitive adsorption and here it is showing preferential adsorption clear what is competitive adsorption 